Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have something very exciting for you guys. I will be reviewing none other than the Mahalo Skin Care's Rare Indigo Balm as well as their Petal Mask. So let's get started. So I received the uh, both these masks sorry the uh, uh, rare indigo balm as well as the petals mask in the beauty heroes may subscription box if you're not aware of beauty heroes i will link them down below they are that they, they are an amazing subscription service which provides you with you know um, organic natural skincare uh, brands every month and um, the value for the box is 39 dollars uh, per month uh, and you can opt for three months, six months, and uh, and a year, I think. Uh, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but yeah, but I will link them down below. So definitely check them out. They have amazing selection of brands. So if you're interested in more natural, organic skincare brands, I think that's uh, that's the um, subs that's the beauty box that you need to check out. So yeah, I'll link them down below uh, for your reference. So let's get started with the review. Uh, Mahalo skincare uh, rare indigo balm is has a cult uh, status you know it's everybody's favorite and uh, it's because for a good reason so when i received this in my may box i was very excited because i always wanted to try this balm and this as in the this is this is the full size that we got and it actually retails for 110 dollars for 30 ml which is quite expensive but um, after using it for about past two months now i think it's it's totally worth it it has changed my uh, my opinion on the natural skincare uh, you know um, beauty bombs or oils i anyways used to love face oils a lot but uh, after using this i think um, i'm never going back so uh, let's get started with the review so, as far as the packaging goes it, it comes in this really nice cute bamboo jar as you can see and it's very sturdy it's quite it's a bit heavy um not like on a bulky side but it's very travel friendly in my opinion and it kind of looks nice and uh, yeah so you have to twist it open and there there is a you know stopper or a protective uh, layer on that which you open the balm actually looks like this it's a nice purple color it looks a bit bright on the camera but it's not that bright but it's really nice this um, nice gorgeous purple color the fragrance is something it's very intoxicating to me it's something i have never ever tasted sorry never ever you know experienced in my life because uh, it's very different it definitely has um, a scent of lavender which I can pick up but it's not your usual lavender that you get from the essential oil it's very different you know it is a bit sweet and um, it's not horrible at all and it's, it's just amazing you should definitely you know I think I'm really bad at explaining the uh, fragrance but uh, it's very different and it's really nice it's very refreshing it really just just takes me to a different place altogether yeah so it's really amazing so i think the balm um this as you can see i have actually used quite a lot and still probably i have 90 percent of it left so this will last you a very long time i usually use it in the night time the texture of the balm is um it's quite soft i would say as you can see over here i'm not sure you will be able to see it properly in the camera but once it touches your skin as you can see it just melts like you know you will not be able to feel it at all and it just melts and gets absorbed in the skin it's not like it's not sticky or greasy and it's it's beautiful actually it really melts well you know so the way I like to use it is I like to use it in the night time it's usually after I've finished all my skincare and this is the last thing that I would use on my face to just lock everything in. In the morning when I wake up my skin feels well hydrated, well rested, I don't feel you know any stretchy or dryness at all. Uh, so I really like it a lot. I have used it in the daytime but I just prefer it to be used at the night time i just wanted to uh, read out uh, the description from the um, uh, from the website that they have given so it says sorry i have my notes over here so it says the rare indigo balm helps to deliver youth enhancing hydration 
optimal moisture balance for a healthy complexion. It calms inflammation, acne, eczema, rosacea, dermatitis, and skin irritations. It lowers the oxidation, damage, and stressed tissue. It promotes skin's natural healing abilities. It restores elasticity to dull, prematurely aging skin, fades wrinkles, aids spots, and reduces puffiness. As well as it empowers long-term skin benefits. So wow, that's quite a lot. But um, yeah, so let's just you know uh, take one by one. So I definitely agree on the claims of saying that they do. It provides optimal amount of moisture to the skin and hydration. It's totally right. I mean, since I, the day I started using this, I anyways have a combination skin, but I do get a lot of dry patches, you know, around my mouth and in the corner of my nose. But once if I'm using the balm, I really don't get any of that. You know those dry patches and that itchy and stretchy feeling um, it gives me a really beautiful glow in the morning and I don't have you know um, no oiliness at all on my face it just looks very even toned rested as if I have you know I've got a good dose of my sleep and my antioxidants and all that good stuff for your skin so it's beautiful I also would agree that it does help to calm down your skin I remember having um, like a bit of an acne issue uh, in the month of May I think and uh, you know I just got this one random uh, pimple and you know it was um, it was really you know it was irritating my skin a lot and it was painful but if I uh, once I applied this in the morning I actually saw that it soothed my skin I was scared that it will actually aggregate with it because um, you know you never know right you never know with these hormonal uh, pimples that you get but it did not irritate my skin at all and I was really surprised and I was so happy that wow it, it truly does work so I love that I I don't have any kind of um, you know major wrinkles or fine lines issue so I really cannot comment on that but I think overall as much I've seen and red it does help in soothe nothing is going to take your wrinkles and fine lines away permanently i think this does help in just you know um i think slowing down the aging process you know and you can probably you know grace it's just uh, help you to just age gracefully and that's what we all want right at least that's what i want so yeah i definitely love that the ingredient list is very impressive uh, when I first saw the ingredient list, you know, I was scared that it might probably contain shea butter, uh, which sometimes tends to break out people, but it does not have shea butter, so it was, uh, it was a surprise because usually the bombs, um, the face bombs that we see in the market, they usually have some amount of shea butter or cocoa butter in them to give that, you know, texture, that emollient, that moisturization properties, but this does not have that, and I think that is one of the reasons that it. Uh, works so well across all skin types especially with acne oily you know uh, problematic skin it works beautifully so i'll just quickly go through the ingredients uh, for you guys and you know just um, explain a little bit about them so it has hemp seed oil it has muru muru butter uh, it has babusa it has marula oil which is amazing for anti-aging it has grapeseed oil which is again very good for oily to acne prone skin in fact all skin types it has subuki oil kukui oil acai oil it also has infusion of organic bota uh, botanicals it has indigo it has yarrow it has chamomile which is very good it has immortal it has uh, uh, lavender uh, rose uh, carrot seed oil which is amazing it's uh, it has a lot of vitamin a and beta carotene and vitamin e it also has um, coenzyme q10 which is one of the best antioxidants and anti-irritant uh, anti-irritant for your skin so it's amazing it also has a little bit of vitamin e and vanilla and rosemary so ingredients wise i think this balm is amazing it's an definitely a must-have moisturizer if you love all natural you know plant based oils uh, for your uh, you know moisturizer so this is an amazing the ingredients are very impressive as you saw and i think this will suit all skin types i don't see any kind of you know irritating ingredients in the formula so yeah i highly recommend this to everyone 
it will suit from dry to very dry to oily to combination even if you're acne prone skin because i have acne prone skin and it works beautifully for me so i think it will work across all skin types so however i do have a couple of uh, you know not negative but i would say you know as a suggestion if you will um for this uh, brand and i if if marina if you're listening if you're um, you know watching the video uh, you know please don't take it in the in the wrong way because i absolutely love the balm but i do feel that the shelf life is very very less this balm retails for as you know 110 dollars and it comes in a 30 ml packaging now now my problem is that uh, since it's so potent you know you just need a pea size amount you know when you're using at night time so it's very difficult to finish the entire um, jar um, in in six months so yeah that's that's like you know I just wish that you know they would probably increase the shelf life if that's a possibility or um, you know it come in a small travel or sample sizes you know which makes much more sense which you know which we can finish in you know within six months so yeah that's that's one thing and second thing i feel that in the ingredients list they do have infusion of organic botanicals now they have not mentioned the plants or the herbs that have been used in this infusion and um, i do understand from the um, brand's perspective you know that they need to protect their um, you know their infusions and what are formulas uh, because they are so unique to their brand but at the same time I also feel that from from the consumers point of view you know um, I would like to know what all ingredients you know went into that infusion you know what benefits do I have from those herbs and plants also there might be a case since everybody's skin um, type and you know uh, skin issues are different uh, then that there might be a possibility that the plant or herb used in that infusion you know can cause an allergic reaction so if I know beforehand that okay this ingredient has been used you know I can take you know uh, precautionary measures or you know I can choose my products more wisely so yeah I think um, that's uh, that's that's the only two you know and uh, you know not the uh, gripes or complaints but more of suggestions uh, from my side uh, apart from that I don't have anything this is like one of my desert island type products I'm always going to buy it it'll always be there on my best bedside if I run out of it I'm definitely purchasing full size by myself so yeah I, I love it a lot so with uh, with the uh, balm in the May uh, beauty box you also received the uh, petals mask uh, travel size as you can see over here and I am this is just the travel size the the full size comes in different packaging obviously so when I first um, you know saw this I was actually excited because um, you know it says petals mask and it says hydrating mask for daily glow now I have a combination skin but I do have some dry I do get some dryness you know on my T zone so I thought this would be perfect you know um, uh, it would help with my dry patches and all that stuff but um, I'm, I'm not very sure about this after using it for a few times I still have mixed feelings I don't love it like I do my Mahalo Rare Indigo but it is a good mask so the first thing that you notice or you experience is the smell it's very 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 sweet it is very sweet and i personally am not a fan of very sweet fragrances in my skincare or anything actually i just don't like very sweet um, you know fragrance and um, i can definitely say that it has rose and honey by just smelling it because i can definitely smell you know honey and rose mixed together so yeah 
that is one thing second thing the texture the texture is very unique the texture is like in a jelly kind of a thing uh, and but it does spread very nicely on your skin the way that i like to use it is after i've cleansed my skin and while the skin is still damp i will apply a nice layer of this mask and keep it for around 15 to 20 minutes to an half an hour and then just wash it off with a washcloth i uh, after I remove the mask, I do find that my skin is soft. It has that nice soft glow, uh, but nothing that would, you know, make me go, wow. You know what I mean? And I also think that since my skin is more combination to oily and plus it's summer is over here. Uh, so I think um, it does not really do much for my skin since I don't need that extra you know boost of moisture right now so I think that this mask would probably be good for a very dry to dry skin um, uh, individuals or uh, I think it would be more beneficial in the winter time so yeah I think that's uh, that's all I have to say but I will read what um, you know what they have on their website how they describe this mask for you all so on the website they say the petals mask helps to brighten tone uh, and tone uh, smooth the texture deeply hydrate for a plump glowing appearance gently remove dead skin cells and stimulate cellular renewal manage problem skin by clearing bacteria that cause inflammation balance oil production and reduce the appearance of pores and fine lines so for me personally uh, I do agree on the fact that it does give a nice soft glow to the skin uh, but I personally did not see any kind of benefit when it comes to reduction of pores or fine lines. I, I honestly don't have a lot of issues with fine lines but I definitely did not see any tightness in my pores or anything of that sort. I also did not see any kind of a dead skin cell removal if you will. Um, I think for my skin type uh, which is more pro problematic and combination I prefer a detoxifying mask with some sort of clay this does have white clay if I'm not wrong in this but it's just not very strong enough for me personally and uh, I also wanted to mention you guys that currently Mahalo is having an um, a promotion going on where if you buy uh, 185 dollars products from their website that is mahalo.care you will get their pele mask which is um, a detoxifying mask basically uh, you know uh, uh, made towards the oily combination problematic skin you will get that mask for free so yeah if you are interested and, uh, and then that mask actually retails so i think about 60 dollars if i'm not wrong so it's a pretty good promotion so you get three products in price for two so yeah if you are interested if you have been wanting to try this brand out and you know i would definitely uh, request you to check that uh, promotion out i will list the details down below uh, i'm not affiliated or anything i just received this code in the mail and it's i think all of uh, us who have been subscribed to her um, newsletter have received this code so i'll link that down below as well for you guys to check out for me personally uh, if you ask my suggestion i would say to uh, get the um, rare indigo balm as well as you know i am eyeing their vitality elixir it's a face serum if i'm not wrong so yeah i really want to get that but i already have this bomb so i'm not sure uh, and nothing else is you know catching my eye at the moment so i don't know i may probably pass on the promotion and just buy the pele mask itself because i have seen a lot of uh, good uh, you know reviews of that mask for acne prone skin which i have so yeah i think that's it from my side so i hope this video was helpful to you all and uh, if you liked please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below also if you have any suggestions you know um, if you want me to review anything you know if you have any queries just leave them down below in the description box and i will definitely get back to you so thank you so much for watching and uh, i'll see you guys next time bye guys